Hello Lamp Fans, this week we're going to be showing a little video on how to fix your Model B flame spreaders. So, um, so these um, flame spreaders get um, damaged quite easily um, if you drop them or I, I don't know how they get. I've never really broken one or damaged one, but uh, I got a lot of lamps and these things are bent. And these are $15 to $20 for a place now, so it's definitely cheaper to fix them. So actually all four of these have been fixed and ready to go back into service. So there's a couple of things you should do um, when you're doing this, um, is you're gonna need to make yourself a tool. So here I have an actual tool that was made run on a lathe, and it's actually concave uh, in the center, so it actually drops straight on. This is the ideal thing. So you need to have somebody to make this for you. They need to have a lathe, uh, but you don't necessarily need that. So here I have a a, um, it's a snap-on 16 mil uh, short socket with uh, four, uh, six sides, I guess, yeah, hex. And it actually fits quite well. And it would actually do the job. Uh, maybe not quite as good as this, but it would definitely do it. And this was, you know, something out of your garage. So now the trick is um, with brass is that you should really, um, you need to soften it. Uh, I mean, you can put them on here and tap them and it works fine. I've done that, uh, but the other option is to anneal it properly. So you got to warm it up. So essentially what I'm going to do here is this one's got a little bit of a dent at the top. It's not really horrible. I'm just going to warm this guy up. Just get it nice and glowy. Stick it into, sorry, it's off camera, but I stuck it into my Jameson water here to basically quench it so it, I don't burn myself. And then I can drop it onto the, onto the mandrel, I guess it's a proper term. Then at that point, I just get a little hammer and just, just give it a little tap and just spin it. And that'll straighten it right up. Now, if the thing is squashed in half, it probably won't do it. But if it's got a dent and one side's down, it's pretty good. So you tap it on the, on the side, oops, sorry about that. And then give it a little bit of a tap on the top. As I said, this one's really not that bad. Uh, it's pretty much good to go. So that's that's really it. There's not a real secret to oh, turn off my torch. Not a real secret to fixing that. Uh, I dry this off, hit it with a bit of lube so it doesn't uh, corrode, and uh, that's ready to go back into service. So I mean, that just saved you fifteen twenty dollars per flame spreader, and you can pretty much fix them all. Um, you just have to have the right size mandrel. So here's like a, a squash model six. Uh, I got to look around it. It's, it's definitely different. Well, it's pretty darn close actually. So this one could probably be fixed too. So same thing. Well, let's give this a shot. I haven't done one of these in a while. So let's uh, see if we can get this, uh, fix, fixed up. Sorry about that. Same thing, I'm gonna get this thing nice and cherry hot and drop it in my Jameson water. Pop it on top of the, the mandrel. Same thing, I just kind of tap down on it. Oh, it's this one's not gonna work as nice, it's definitely more squashed then yeah this one's just probably not gonna not gonna go it's really squashed this might take 20 minutes or half an hour to fix if it can be fixed um, if it gets totally perforated um, between the, the dots then it can't be done so this one's probably a goner so I'm not gonna bother trying to invest the time in fixing that one so just recapping, uh, you know, definitely works really good on the, you know, Model B and newer style flame spreaders. They, I haven't had one really in a long time. I haven't been able to fix. So hope this helps you out and saves you a few bucks. Have a nice day.